Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus quietly rolls out an hotfix of Oxygen OS 13.1 for OnePlus 10 Pro. It doesn't bring any new add-ons, some fixes have been done. And in this video, we'll also talk about some of the things which are still required fix or optimization. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 10 Pro on which I've already installed the latest build of Oxygen OS 13.1. Here you can see. And if I show you the Android version, under Android version is the same security patch of 5th April 2023. If you go to version, here you can see a slight change in the version. Initially it was 13.1.0.520, now it's 521. There are a lot of users who might have not received the OTA update, but you guys can download the file which is given in the description below. Enable local install option. This can be enabled by enabling the developer option, tapping on it and you can select the file. You can see the update size was 117 MB for my OnePlus 10 Pro. And guys, before moving ahead, if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to our channel that will motivate us in making better content with quality. So first of all, let's talk about the benchmark result and CPU throttling and we'll compare it with the previous build also. So here you can see this as always I did in high performance mode with 100 thread up to 60 minutes. And here you can see not much of throttling issues are to be seen with high performance mode usually with high performance mode turned on on OnePlus smartphone. Basically OnePlus 10 Pro we used to see a lot of throttling issues and even on OnePlus 11 we did notice throttling issues if you guys haven't seen that video which we made yesterday i'll provide the link in the description below so on the previous build maximum cpu throttled i think up to 65 percent and here it throttled up to 73 percent the scenario was same high performance mode turned on 100 thread up to 60 minutes and if you talk about the benchmark results with single core device have scored 1674 and with multi-core scores are 3696 almost similar scores compared to previous build and now let me show you the change logs of this newer build which is of 117 MB. So if you go to about section, here you can see it says improved system stability and performance. Later extended the battery life in some scenarios. So battery life was a major issue on my OnePlus 10 Pro. As I told you guys, I'll be coming up with the review. So yesterday I created a poll and today I was about to release the review video. But then we got this hotfix update. So I'll take another 2-3 days for testing and I'll come up with the video pretty soon. As I told you guys, battery backup was a major issue. Sometimes I used to get 4 hours of screen on time and sometimes 3 hours 26 minutes. I know my usage, I mostly used to get 4.5 to 5 hours of screen on time on my OnePlus 10 Pro. But with Oxygen OS 13.1 initial build, the battery backup was not that good. Let's see if OnePlus have fixed this thing or not. And can anyone explain me about this auto connect feature which is present on Oxygen OS 13 which was mentioned in the change logs. So I personally wasn't able to find out this feature. Recently I've also got OnePlus pad and in this let me show you we do have an option of auto connect which OnePlus says they did add with Oxygen OS 13 but I personally did not find it. And if I show you on my pad so going to settings, connection and sharing. Here you can see there's an option called multi-screen connect and this description also says the same thing which they have mentioned in the change logs which is automatically connect the device to nearby devices sign in with same account and which also says auto connect feature is only available for the devices running Oxygen OS 13.1 or later. But here if you see under connection and sharing we don't have any such option which is present on this OnePlus pad. I know this is not exclusive feature for OnePlus pad. But if that thing is present on OnePlus 10 Pro, you guys let me know in the comment section below where can I find that thing. Because I wasn't able to personally find it on my OnePlus 10 Pro and even on Nord CE3 which is running Oxygen OS 13.1. And a lot of users are still waiting for some minor fixes. One of them is the brightness style besides the brightness slider which is still not been added on OnePlus 10 Pro with 13.1. And another thing is ability to run applications like YouTube in 120Hz. I was thinking OnePlus would provide an option to manually adjust the refresh rate for individual app but that did not happen with 13.1 also. So you can see I have enabled the refresh rate option and if we go to YouTube you can see clearly it only gives maximum 60. We don't have the support of 120Hz 
let's also check instagram and instagram do support 120 hertz but it will be great if oneplus also adds the ability of 120 hertz in youtube application then the scrolling would be more smoother and one major issue which i was encountering on my oneplus 10 pro after this new update and this issue was also present on oneplus 9rt in past which was related to proximity sensor so you can see this line also i had to remove the screen guard from the device i thought it was an issue with screen guard but that wasn't the case i'm not sure it's an issue with google dialer because in most cases i have seen google dialer weird behavior when it comes to proximity sensors so right now it is working fine and let's see whether it works during my testing or not this time i'll try to grab a video if it doesn't work so i think this thing have been taken care by oneplus and one issue which is present on every oneplus smartphone and that's when you open any browser and use the alert slider the option of find in page pops up and it's there on oneplus smartphones since a long time so guys there's nothing much to cover in this particular update you have to wait for a full review which i'll drop it in a day or two again i have to start testing the device but i'll try my best to release the review pretty soon so as of now only this much in this video guys i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a great day with the negativity but i just slide right by that energy uh, even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran sitting up